So good to see you guys out here this weekend, Bart. Glad you could make it. Yeah, it's a beautiful weekend. We're glad to be out this weekend. Hey, fellas, what's going on? Hey, Hi, morning. Jose. Matt, I can't believe you got suckered into putting solar on your travel trailer. Suckered? Seriously. You hear, you hear this guy? Why would you waste your money on that when you're going to be plugged in at the campground? Oh. You don't need solar for that. You want to take this? Yeah, I, I got this. Jose, let me drop some knowledge on you. You know when you're getting your camper ready the night before a trip and you have to run and find an extension cord to plug in so you can open everything up? I don't have to do that anymore. With Keystone Solar Flex, I know my battery is going to be full and it's going to keep recharging. I can run out my slides, heck, I can turn on the fridge and pack it up. Even leave it overnight so it's one less thing I have to worry about in the morning. Truth is, if I'm only home for a few days between camping trips, I actually keep the fridge running and don't unpack it at all. I have a Group 27 battery on my camper and it keeps up with the fridge no problem. Dude, but my truck already charges my batteries while I'm driving. I don't need a solar panel to do that. Dude, I'm telling you right now, there's no way your truck is going to charge your RV batteries, especially not on a four or five hour trip. And it primarily charges your truck battery anyway. Also, Jose, a deep cycle lead acid battery doesn't work when the charge drops below 50%. You just can't let that happen. This solar flex system and the sun make sure the battery stays charged. Okay, maybe I get it now, but is it worth the extra cost? It's not like it's free. First, Jose, this Solar Flex package came with the new camper. The cost over the length of the loan is nothing. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you bought a new battery for your rig? Last year. And the last time before that? Um, I don't know, three years ago? Exactly, you're killing those lead ass batteries because you're not keeping them charged. I won't ask how much you're spending on new batteries. I guess the question is, who wouldn't want to be able to camp without having to plug in? And Jose, Solar Flex is a no-brainer. There's no moving parts. Periodically, you have to clean your panel, but that's it. And besides, everything's going solar. Within the next five years, everything's going to have it. So you might as well get ahead of the curve. OK, guys, I see the points you're making and added benefits of Solar Flex. I guess I just didn't realize that before. Thanks for the intel, guys. You have done your homework. Solar Flex it is. Time to go shopping for me. Anybody up for fishing? I'm always up for some fishing. Yeah, let's Where's go. Where's our waitress? We'll order some fish. <laughs> <laughs> No, man, it's too bad Jose couldn't join us today. Oh, yeah, he didn't miss much anyway, though. Nothing biting. I guess we're going to need to talk to that waitress after all. Yeah. I think we really did get through to Jose. I think he understands the benefits of the Solar Flex 200 package now. Yeah, I think we did. Even if you never leave the campground, Solar Flex 200 makes everything easier. You can run out the slides, pack up your camper, get your groceries in the refrigerator the night before, get an earlier start. Even if you can charge from your truck's alternator, it's highly unlikely that it can keep up with the power your fridge needs. Solar keeps your batteries topped off so you don't run them dry and have to replace them so often. It doesn't get any better than that. Let's head back to the camper and see what's for lunch. Yeah, let's go. Let's get out of this Indiana weather. I agree. <laughs> 